In this video I'll be showing you how to complete the Ascension Remastered Easter Egg in both solo and co-op. Solo perspective you will need a mod that I will link down in the description and the pinned comment of the video for Black Ops 3 on PC. So if you're doing this on solo you can only do this on PC, this is not doable on console solo. So console players you will need to be doing this with up to 4 players. The steps are mostly the same in solo and co-op perspectives. There is some slight difference for solo players and I will explain that as we go along. Also this Easter Egg on the Black Ops 3 version of Ascension is pretty much exactly the same as the Black Ops 1 version, the only slight difference is the very end part of the easter egg which I will explain when we get to that. So the first step of the easter egg you will need to activate the power. Once you've activated the power you don't need to do this right away but I recommend you do so just to get it out of the way as quickly as possible is gained access to Pack-a-Punch. In order to do this you need to activate three Lunar Landers in order to fuel the rocket. The Lunar Landers are in the following locations. So the first one coming from the Stamina Up machine if you come through this doorway here come to the back of this area you'll see that there is this terminal here simply walk up to it and use your interactive button and this will call the lunar lander over to your location once the lunar lander has arrived and is fully refueled simply walk onto the lunar lander and pay 250 points in order to activate it once you do this this will be the same for the other two lunar landers that you're on as well when we get to those it will then automatically transport you back over to the spawn room area once you arrive at the spawn room area if you look at these little terminals up on the ceiling here you'll notice that there is a picture of a rocket and what will happen is the rocket will go from being fully red to slightly filling up green each time you activate a lunar lander this indicates how much fuel the rocket has got currently inside of it second lunar lander location if you come up to where the widow's wine perk machine is or alternatively if you're doing this on black ops one then this is where the phd flopper perk machine is and come over here and activate this terminal and then once the lunar lander has arrived activate it in order to activate the lunar lander to fuel the rocket and the final lunar lander if you come up to where the speed curler perk machine is and come down the walk way here and walk over to this terminal here to activate the lunar lander once the lunar lander has arrived once again activate it and then once that lunar lander arrives at the spawn room if you look at the little terminal on the ceiling you should notice that the rocket will now be fully lit green if you then head up to the power room and next to the power switch you'll see that there is this button that you can interact with interact with this button and what this will do is this will make the rocket take off into the air and will then open up the area so you have access to pack a punch now that you've done all that you will need to head to the mystery box and spin the mystery box until you get the Gersh devices. Once you've got the Gersh devices, if you head over to where the Widow's Wine Perk Machine is, or PhD Flopper if you're playing Black Ops 1, and come from there and come down the staircase here and look outside of the map here, you will see that there is this sparking generator. You will need to throw a Gersh device in front of this generator, and what will happen is the Gersh device will suck up this generator, and then you will begin to hear Gersh start talking to you. After that, head over to the Stamina Up Perk Machine and come through the doorway here, and then take an immediate left and come through this puddle of water here over to this computer terminal and use your interactive button on the computer terminal. Once you do so you will see the picture of the Illuminati symbol on the screen and once again hear Gersh start to talk. To be able to do the next step the player must have bought a perk already. The reason for buying a perk is this will spawn in the monkey wave. This next step can only be achieved during the monkey round. For this step you need to interact with these red buttons on the wall. This is different for solo and co-op perspectives so first of all I'm going to show off where each of the button locations are. So the first button location Location. you can find it if you come to the Widow's Wine Perk Machine or alternatively if you're playing Black Ops 1 then the PhD Flopper Perk Machine. While facing the Perk Machine if you look over to the left hand side you can find the red button here on the wall. Second button come over to the Speed Coder Perk Machine and while facing the Speed Coder Perk Machine come over to the right here and you can see over to the right hand side of this metal door up on the wall. Third red button is where the Juggernaut Perk Machine is. While facing the Juggernaut Perk Machine if you do a 180 degree turn and look at this wall here just underneath this clock you will find the red button there. Fourth red button if you come over to the stamina up perk machine while facing the stamina up perk machine if you come over to the left hand side of it here on the wall you will find the fourth red button. So for solo players you simply just need to find one of these red buttons and interact with it. As soon as you interact with that red button all the other red buttons will go into the wall along with the one that you've interacted with and then you will hear Gersh speak. If you're playing in co-op then you will need to have all four players standing at one of the four red buttons and then you will need to communicate with each other and and then at the exact same time all four players will need to interact with the red buttons. If they do this correctly then all the red buttons will sink into the wall and they will begin to hear Gersh speak. In the next step you will need to have access to the Pack-a-Punch area. If you have not done what I mentioned earlier on in the video which is doing the Lunar Landers in order to activate the Pack-a-Punch area then you will need to do so now. Head down to where Pack-a-Punch is and coming from where the Pack-a-Punch machine is if you just walk outside here you'll notice that there is this big circular metal platform on the floor and you also see up on the 
wall there is a giant clock. You need to make sure that you do not step off of the metal platform on the floor that you are standing on. If you're playing in co-op then all players must be standing on this platform at exactly the same time in order for this step to work. And if you're playing in solo or co-op if at any point the players step off of this metal platform this will mean that the step will fail and you will need to start it again. You simply need to step on this metal platform and stand on it for a whole minute. If you look at the clock you will see that the hand on the clock will be moving all the way around the clock. You do not have to stare at the clock for the entire minute. You can just walk around in circles around the metal platform that you're standing on if you wish or just sit still. Once the clock has gone a full minute it will then set off a nuke and kill all the zombies that are remaining on the round. The next step will involve collecting some letters which will spell out the word Luna. This step is different in solo and co-op. I'm going to go over the solo perspective first and then I will go over the co-op perspective in a minute. So to make it clear in the solo perspective for this you will not actually be picking up the letters yourself, the lunar landers will be picking up the letters for you. You will need to get these lunar landers to pick up these letters in a specific order. Here is a computer terminal screen of the map, this will explain what order you need to do this in. So you will need to head down to the spawn room and call the lunar lander to spawn. Once you've done this you will then want to head over to the stamina up area and activate the lunar lander over there. Once you do so it will pick up the letter L. After that head back to the spawn room and activate the lunar lander to call it to spawn which will pick up the letter U. After that head over to the speed code of lunar lander area and call the lunar lander up there which will pick up the letter N. Finally head over to the stamina up area once again and activate the lunar lander there and this will pick up the letter A. Once you've done this you will then begin to hear Gersh talk to you. So for co-op players I recommend that you have one player that holds on to the zombies and preferably hold them over by the widow's wine or PhD flopper depending which version of the game you're playing perk machine area. The other players you will going to need one player that will be standing on these lunar landers in order to pick up and collect the letters and the other two players can call the lunar landers to specific areas. You will need to activate the lunar lander and make sure you call it over to the spawn room first of all to start this. Once you've done that make sure the person is standing on the lunar lander ready to go and then the other player can activate the lunar lander and call it over to the stamina up area. Once this happens the player that's on the lunar lander will pick up the letter L. After that another player will need to call the lunar lander over to the spawn room once again with the person standing on the lunar lander. Once that's activated the person on the lunar lander will then pick up the letter U. Then the next person will need to call the lunar lander over to the speed coder area which again the person standing on the lunar lander when being transported over there will pick up the letter N. Then finally one of the players will need to call the lunar lander back over to the stamina up area and when they do this the person that's on the lunar lander will then pick up the letter A. Once that lunar lander lands you will then begin to hear Gersh start talking to you. And then finally the last step of this easter egg is different depending on what version of the game you are playing and also if you're playing solo or co-op. So if you're playing on the Black Ops 1 version of this then all four players will need to have got the following equipment or pack a punch the following weapons. You will need to have at least one player with pack a punch thunder gun, two players with pack a punch ray guns, a Gersh device and also the Matryoshka dolls. If you're playing on the Black Ops 3 version then you will need to have one person with the pack a punch thunder gun, two players with either the pack a punch ray guns or one pack a punch ray gun and one pack a punch ray gun mark 2, a Gersh device and the Matryoshka dolls. If you're playing this in solo on Black Ops 3 then the player will need the Gersh device, a pack a punch thunder gun and a pack a punch ray gun or pack a punch ray gun mark 2. Once you've acquired all the following items coming from the stamina perk machine if you come through this doorway here and come out here you'll see that there is this white little light on the floor. So if you're playing this on solo then you simply want to throw down the Gersh device near that white light and then immediately shoot all of your ammo from the clip of the thunder gun into that white light and then immediately switch over to your ray gun or your ray gun mark 2 and shoot loads of ammo into the white light again. If done fast enough then you will notice the light will start flying up into the sky. If you're playing in co-op then you will need to have one person throw down the Gersh device, the next person throw down the Matryoshka dolls and then all the other players unload all their ammo from their thunder guns and ray guns into the white light on the floor. Once again if done fast enough then the white light will fly up into the sky. When the white light flies up into the sky you will hear a lot of dialogue from Gersh and then eventually Samantha will turn the screen black and white as she screams in anger that you've just set Gersh free. After this you will then be rewarded a 90 second death machine as well as a perkaholic. If you go down at any point you will lose your perkaholic. Otherwise that's all there is to this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you need another guide to Ascension Remastered or any other zombies map I'll link those down in the description as well as a pinned comment. Otherwise I'll see you all in the next video.